Hello friends, today I am going to solve lit code problem number 217 contains duplicate. In this problem, we are given an integer array nums and we need to return a value true if the integer array nums consists of duplicates. That is, if any of the value appears at least twice, we are going to return a true. Else if we are going to return a false, that would mean that each element in the array is distinct and there are no duplicates. Now let's look at this example and see how we could solve this problem. So um, our instinct would be to compare each value with each of the other values and check if they are equal or not. So what we do is we start from the first element that is 1. So we take this element and we compare it with all the other elements. So we compare it with 2, 3 and 1. So while we're comparing we found that this 1 is equals to this element here so we return a true because we found a duplicate now let's see how we could find the time complexity of this one let's suppose this is equals to zero here and not one so now we start our comparison for the element one and we compare it with two three and zero so basically we are comparing with all the remaining elements in this nums array so that would mean that we are performing n minus 1 operation here and for next element that is 2 we perform our operation again so we again compare if to check if any of the other values are equals to 2 or not um, and here we are not going to compare 2 with the value 1 here which is the previous value because we already already did that comparison while we're comparing one with two so we are not going to do that also we are not going to compare two with itself because that's absurd we want to find the duplicate so we are going to compare two with three and then compare two with zero that are the next two elements after two so we make an n minus two comparisons that is if n is the length of the array um, we only compare n minus 2 elements right for 2 so far we have done n plus 1 and n plus 2 uh, comparisons now for the element 3 again we are comparing it with um, 0 so for 3 we are performing only n minus 1 operation all right and for 0, we do not perform any comparison at all. So we are performing these many operations here. So how many operations are there? That's equals to 3n minus 4. So what if there were multiple, like um, a large number of a large size of the array if the length of this array was very large so that would mean that we would keep comparing until uh, the value is equals to one so when we sum up all of these values um, okay so we are actually starting from n minus one plus n minus two to n so that would mean um, let's look at our mathematics here so uh, summing up one a value from 1 to 5 is given by the formula n n plus 1 divided by 2 so that would mean that 5 times 6 divided by 2 which is equals to we get the value 3 here so 5 threes are 15 right so that's 15 let's do our addition in this way as well and validate our result so this is 5 this is 4 plus 1 is again 5 so we found one more 5 and this is our third 5 so we have three fives here so that's equals to 15 so basically we found our result right so now uh, to perform a sum from 1 to n we use this formula so similarly to perform a sum from 1 to n minus 1 what are we doing is we are doing n minus 1 times n divided by 2 so that would mean that our time complexity is n squared minus n by 2 so we take the value which has the highest 
um, weight so that would be this so our time complexity here becomes o of n squared so this is how we actually find the time complexity of a problem so for this solution uh, this brute force solution the time complexity becomes o of n squared which is huge uh, can we solve this in um, a much better time so let's see if we could do that all right let's clean this thing real quick great so um next thing we could do is we could either sort this whole array so when we sort this array what we'll get is one one two and three so while we sort the sorting operation the inbuilt sort operation takes o, o, o of log and time complexity so we perform a sort in o of log and time complexity and then next what we need to do is we just need to compare the adjacent two uh, elements so we compare only one with one since both of them are equal we return a true let's suppose that we had an array um, of this kind so that would mean our sorted array would be something like this so we compare one with two they are not equal so now we compare two with two we compare these two elements and now we found that they are equal so we return a value two it's true so basically um sorting elements sorting text and log of n and the comparison text and time complexity so our overall time complexity is given by n plus n log of n so that basically means we have a time complexity of o of n log n here for this solution and the space complexity is constant because we are just uh, sorting this nums array um let's see if we could solve this in a much better way that is using o of n time complexity so uh, what we need to do for that is we need to know if we have already seen that element before so what we do is we create a set set is like a container where we put all the values we have found so far so we start from the first element we put it in our set and then we move to the next element and we check if this element is present in the set or not if it's present we are going to return a true if not we are going to just add it to our set since two is not present we add two to our set and then next we move to element three and three is also not present in the array right so we add it to our set here next we move on to the element one and we check it in this set and we found our uh, element one in this set right since element one is already in the set which means that we have already encountered this element previously in our array right that was here so that would mean that we have found a duplicate now and that is when we return a true else what we do is we just reach the end and we return all false at the end so this would take off and time complexity however since we are using a set to store all the other values that would mean that we are occupying an extra space that is of um, worst case o of n so our time space complexity also becomes o of n so let's solve this problem using this approach so we need a set to solve this problem so now let's create our set so we create our set and then we loop over each of the element of our nums array and we check if that element is present in the set or not if set has that element already that would mean that we have found a duplicate and we return a true here else what we do is we just add it to our set so we add the value num to our set and then finally if we didn't find any duplicate we are just going to return a false 
let's run our code and look for any errors awesome let's submit it great so we solved our problem in o of n time complexity and on o of n space complexity hope you like this solution please like and subscribe if you want to see more solutions